Today we're going to be taking a look at the best trailer hitches available for the 2014 Acura RDX. Here we have our Draw Tight Class 3, part number 75784, 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening on that one. And here we've got our Kurt, this is part number C13130, also a Class 3 with the 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. Now there are a few differences cosmetically to them, and I think on the RDX that's going to be important to you, so let's go over those. We'll start with the draw tight. You can see it's got a reinforcement collar here around the end. It's got more of a rounded kind of a look to it, where there's the Kurt also has a reinforcement collar, but it has more of a flush off look. I think the Kurt offers a little bit cleaner look in this department. The Kurt's going to have a single pinhole that's 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. We're going to use that to secure all of our items, and there's going to be plenty of room there for whatever accessory you want to choose to secure those, whether it's just going to be a pin and clip, anti rattle device, or even a locking hitch pin. Uh, same for the draw type, except it's going to have two holes. Now, the hole located closest to the front of the vehicle is the only one we're going to use to secure our items. Just like the Kurt, there's going to be plenty of room there for whatever we want to attach them with. The smaller hole would be for use with only the J-Pin stabilization system, which is just a form of anti-rattle device. As an added benefit to the draw tight, it does have a wiring bracket that has been welded on with three pre-drilled holes to allow you to attach a bracket there if you want to mount your wiring on the outside of the vehicle. We do have a difference in the weight ratings. Uh, for the draw tight, we have a 400 pound tongue weight rating, so that's the maximum downward force we can put at our receiver tube opening whereas the Kurt has a 600 pound tongue weight rating. The draw tight is going to give us a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. That would be the total weight of our trailer and anything that we are to load up on it. The Kurt, it's also going to give us a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. Neither of the hitches are going to be rated for use with weight distribution, so you want to stay away from that. And something that Kurt does recommend would be the use of a stabilization strap anytime you're going to be hauling non-wheeled loads. That's going to be cargo carriers, bike racks, really anything other than a trailer. So you definitely want to keep that in mind. Now as far as the installation process goes, both hitches are going to be just about equal. They use the exact grade hardware, the exact same type of hardware, and you're going to have the same installation process with them. So no major difference there. Now they both have similar safety chain connection points. It's going to be a round steel stock that's been welded on the bottom of the receiver tube. And both of them are going to give us plenty of room to connect whatever type safety chains that we might want. Now when installed on the vehicle, both of our hitches are going to be in the same spot. You can see that cross tube remains hidden up behind the rear fascia, which is a nice touch. Now to determine which hitch is going to be the right one for you, we can talk about aesthetics first. And I think that Kurt does offer a slightly cleaner look. As far as towing goes, Kurt does have a higher tongue weight rating, so when you are using a trailer, that might take the lead slightly there. The draw tight, on the other hand, it's going to have that bracket attached for wiring. So if, you want, if you're constantly going to be plugging into wiring, you might want to route it outside of the vehicle and attach it there. So as far as towing with both of our hitches, we're going to call that a draw. And then for recreational purposes, while the Kurt should be a stiffer hitch and it should be better for recreational purposes, we have to remember that they recommend the use of that stabilization strap or it could void our warranty. I wouldn't want the headache of every time I load up my bikes to have to try to get the stabilization strap installed. So I'm going to say that the draw tight is better for recreational usages with your bike racks, cargo carriers, and things like that. We hope this information is going to be helpful in you selecting which hitch is going to be the right one for you. Thanks for watching and click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.